Watch you guys got another video on how to import PST files into Outlook 2019, 2016 and 2013 and 2010. Here we have a PST file which I want to import into my Microsoft Outlook 2019. So the process will be roughly the same for all these versions. So open up Microsoft Outlook and what you want to do is go up to the top where it says file on the top left hand side we're going to click on open and export and then import and export here we want to click on this one once we click on this a little box will pop up and what you're looking for here it says import files uh, from another program or file click on this one and click next next we need to select outlook data file pst and now we can browse to the actual PST file that we want to import. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that file. It's here. I've got it in my documents. So I'm going to click open. And now we can replace duplicates with the items imported, or you can allow duplicates, or you can do not import duplicates it's entirely up to you. I'm going to select the top one for this one and then click on next. Now all we need to do here now is you can see our file has been selected. I'm going to include subfolders and I'm going to import uh, items into the same folder. Or you can put it into the one above that. It's entirely up to you which way you want to do yours. But that's how I'm going to do mine. And once I've got all my settings exactly how I want to, you've got a filter tab there if you want to go in there and mess around with filters. I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to leave that as is and click finish. A box will pop up and it will start to import all those emails into your mail client and it will take some time because it's got to go through uh, all of the uh, inboxes and all of the uh, send items junk files deleted files and stuff like that if you've got all that stored on your um, PST file now I've got a ton of them here as you can see so it did take a bit of time so be patient and let it do its thing. But you can see all the emails have now been imported. I've got every email that I've created there, which means if I ever need to search for a previous email, which I've sent some time ago, I can always uh, just find that email very quickly. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.